Hi, I'm Nikoya. Welcome to this short video on how to conclude a narrative essay with a moral, a prediction, or a revelation. The narrative essay conclusion has two main jobs. First, it provides the end of the action or the story. And then it provides some information about how that action or that story affected the main character. And this is usually in the form of a moral, a prediction, or a revelation. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. These three types of conclusions and what the differences and similarities are between them. A moral is something that describes what the main character learned about an important social or cultural rule. So let's look at some examples. The little boy had finally learned that telling the truth was the most important thing to do. So you can see the word truth is highlighted here because telling the truth is often an important social or cultural value. It's a rule that our culture encourages us to live by. And so this little boy learned a lesson related to that. And generally, the moral revelation or prediction are given in the final sentence. So if you look in the textbook Great Essays, you'll see that this sentence is given as the example of the final sentence of the conclusion. Let's look at another example. I realized that friendship was more important than money. And once again, I've highlighted these words, friendship and money, because this sentence is showing an important cultural value around those two things. So again, a moral usually talks about an important cultural value or rule. So let's look at the second way that we can uh, conclude or show the impact of a narrative essay on the main character. And that's a prediction. A prediction describes what the writer thinks might happen in the future because of what happened in the essay. So let's look at some examples. I can only hope that one day I will be able to do the same for another traveler who is suffering through a terrible journey. And so the important thing to look when you're um, trying to figure out if an essay is giving a prediction or a moral or revelation is, does it talk about the future? If it talks about the future, it is probably a prediction. And we'll look a little closer at that at the end, but you can look for the use of words and time phrases that talk about what will happen in the future. Here's another example. If my sister ever hosts Thanksgiving again, she will ask for help. And again, we're talking about will ask, so that's in the future. That's using the future tense. So this is a prediction about the sister's future behavior. Finally, we have the third way that we can conclude a narrative essay and show how the events impacted the main character. And that's with a revelation. A revelation tells something that the main character learned or changed as a result of events. It's very similar to a moral, but it's different because it's personal and it usually doesn't talk about a cultural or social rule. It's usually just more unique to that individual character. So let's look at some examples. Every New Year's Eve, my wife and I return to that magical spot and remember the selfless act that saved our lives. So we see that something happened on New Year's Eve to the character and his wife, and they do something to remember that every year. So it is talking about the future, but it's not a prediction because it's really showing something personal and unique that affects the character. So every New Year's Eve, 
They return to the magical spot and remember the selfless act. So it's showing something, it's revealing to you, the reader, something that they do or that they continue to feel because of the events of the story. So let's look at the second example. Whenever I see a fire truck, I am reminded of all the courage and determination my mother put into becoming a firefighter. And so again, this talks about the emotion and the personal experience that this writer has whenever they see a fire truck. And so it's different than a moral because it's not talking about a social or cultural rule that most people uh, would follow. Um, it is similar to a prediction, but it's not a guess about what will happen in the future. It just says what typically happens every time this person sees a fire truck. So it's not only talking about the future, it's talking about the present as well. So let's look at a quick review to kind of summarize these similarities and differences between a moral prediction and revelation. All of them describe how the story affected the main character. So that's similar between all three. Now, moral is the only one that describes a cultural or a social rule that would affect or be expected by a lot of people in a culture. All three of these types of concluding sentences can describe future behavior but the prediction does it most clearly. And it does it, it, the emphasis of the prediction is just on future behavior. Whereas the moral and the revelation have other elements that describe them. So if you see a concluding sentence that is talking about future behavior, you can decide which one of these three it is if it describes cultural or social rules in addition to future behavior, then that's a moral. If it describes a personal emotion or tradition in addition to future behavior, then that's a revelation. But if it only talks about future behavior, that's a prediction. So I hope this video helps you understand your choices as you write narrative essays and how you can um, wrap up the story, and I hope it helps you identify how other authors are ending their narrative essay.